are you doing? Hi, my name's Cherry. Hi. What's it like bringing the third lead Asian show to Network TV? Um, you know, to me, it, it's uh, number one, it's an honor. I um, mean, if it wasn't for All American Girl, fresh off the boat. And also Sullivan and Son on TBS, that doesn't get the credit it deserves. I mean, Dr. Ken wouldn't be on the air. So um, you want to honor that by making as, it, thinking about those shows and inspiring me to make it as, actually as different as possible from those shows. You want to make something that, and the only make to make anything different original is to make it, make it about your reality. And so, to me, it's, uh, it's based on my real life and, that we fictionalized. And this show was about doing funny patient cases, but trying to do, like, patient cases when we did, like, two years ago. And now it's evolved to this ensemble comedy that has a workplace element and family elements. And, like, and now we've had maybe exactly one patient case in the last three episodes since the pilot. So it's been less about that and because about these characters that this amazing cast has really created I care about the characters more than I do about my own backstory, my own life, and now I'm I'm more interested in the characters' stories and everything. So, in many ways, Dr. Ken is a misnomer because it really is about this universe that the show has created. What do you think yeah. audiences are going to love about the show? I mean, I, I think I think what the love honestly is that it's a really simple, heartwarming family sitcom. I mean, you know, it's classic. It's just classic old school, really. It's not. You know, I wasn't trying to set out to make this ambitious pioneering comedy with, like, you know, starships and laser beams and goats, you know, and how to hybridize all three of them in one setting. No, it's all about, to me, it's something that's just based on, it's just based on my life and trying to find something that's real and heartwarming and and, and put a lot of jokes into it and, and also take a lot of jokes out of it, make it, make it real, make it heartwarming, too. I want to put a lot of heart into it, too, and I want to make something as different as I could from anything else I've ever done. How similar are you to your characters? Do you like to get wild and crazy like some of your characters, or are you more? Yeah, I think in real life, I'm, um, you know, I think in real life, it, it, Ken Park, my character, is always well-intentioned, always overreacting. In real life, I'm, a, I'm always a, a well-intentioned, sometimes overreacting, so... About a 50% difference, yeah. <laughs> Quick question for you. Uh, you know, and I think fans want to know this, too. What do you like to do on your day off? Honestly, well, there are no days off on, on, on this show. It's like it's, I mean, even on weekends, I'm, I'm writing or producing or memorizing my lines. So, honestly, it's been a seven-day-a-week job, to be honest, because not just an actor on this. I'm, you know, supervising producer and supervising the writing and, it's been a, it's honestly been a 24-7 job. So for me, right now, outside of my family, my wife Tran and my, my daughters, this is my life, you know, it really is. It's something, it's a true passion project of anything, yeah, yeah. How does the live audience impact the show? It's everything, and that's why I wanted to do it, because it's different from everything I've done. I, I used to do stand-up comedy, and it, it calls back to my stand-up roots. I don't think people know what, like, if you watch me on any talk show, I play up that crowd a lot. Yeah. You don't really see that in movies or in community or in the Hangover movies. You really get to see that amped up. And to me, the show is about me for the people. I mean, many ways it really is. You know, and, and it's deliberately that way. Yeah. What's it like joining the ABC Disney family? I I tell you, ABC has given me the most love in anything in, in my television career. I've never had as much love in TV that I've had from. And it trickles down from Paul Lee, the you know, the head of ABC, down to down to everybody in that family. I mean, they are family to me. If it wasn't for ABC, I wouldn't be on the air. And they, and the, and the amount of love that they've given the show, um, I, I can't even I can't even put in words. It's been a true collaboration. And they've allowed me to be collaborative. They've they've listened to my voice, and of course I listen to them. And it's been a true partnership and collaboration. They, I cannot say enough amazing things about it. You know, no matter what the success of the show is, ABC has just been so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Any Thank you health so tips? Huh? Any health tip? The show's all about health. You're known for being all about health. Live, love, and laugh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Thank Great. you so Thank much. You. Thank